The royal family has wished Sophie, the Duchess of Edinburgh well wishes on her birthday after Prince Harry was snubbed on his. The official X account for the firm posted a beautiful picture of Prince Edward's wife on Saturday as she wore a blue floral dress with a matching hat. The post said, Happy birthday to the Duchess of Edinburgh. Balloon emoji, thank you for the well wishes. Sophie, who married Prince Edward and entered the royal family in 1999, turned 59 today. Meanwhile back in September, Prince Harry marked his 39th birthday at the Invictus Games watching a volleyball match after drinking German beer and eating sausages and schnitzel the night before. Athletes and crowds at the Games sang happy birthday to the prince and gave him a large cake to mark the occasion. But there were no good wishes coming from any of the official royal accounts. The palace's official social media accounts instead spent the day posting about King Charles, Prince William, Princess Kate, and Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh, without mentioning Prince Harry once. This is because Buckingham Palace has indicated that the royal family now only sends public birthday wishes to those who are senior working members. The senior members are King Charles and Queen Camilla, Prince William and Princess Kate, Prince Edward and Countess Sophie, and Princess Anne. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle ceased being senior royals in 2020 when they stepped back and moved to California. Prince Edward and Sophie's public support is only getting higher, despite a lack of fanfare, a royal commentator exclusively told GB News. The Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh are senior working royals, but fail to often generate the same amount of headlines as the Prince and Princess of Wales and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. On Wednesday, the royal family announced that Kate was admitted to hospital for planned abdominal surgery, and King Charles will soon seek treatment for an enlarged prostate. As a result, Queen Camilla and Prince William will likely be supporting their spouses throughout and after their operations. This means Princess Anne, Prince Edward and Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh will be the senior royals left to perform the majority of engagements. In 2023, they performed 457, 297, and 219 engagements respectively. In comparison, Prince William and Kate only carried out 172 and 123 engagements respectively. Gareth Russell, a royal author, spoke exclusively to GB News to discuss whether or not Sophie and Edward deserve more credit for performing a larger number of engagements than the future king and queen. He said, back in the day, in the midpoint and later point of Queen Elizabeth II's reign, you could have made the same case with the Kents and the Gloucesters. All four of them were in public life and they got on with it with absolutely no fanfare at all. The royal author explained why Sophie and Edward find themselves in a similar situation to the Gloucesters and the Kents. Russell continued, the Edinburghs are in that same ilk, if you like. But although they don't get the media coverage that a lot of the more famous royals do, if you look at public opinion and public approval for the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, it's consistently high and only getting higher. After Prince Harry and Meghan Markle stepped down from royal duties in January 2020, many commentators noted the close relationship between the Waleses and the Edinburghs. Sophie and Kate are often seen smiling and laughing together at royal events, from Royal Ascot to King Charles's coronation on the Buckingham Palace balcony. According to Russell, the Duke and Duchess have the support of the British public as popular working royals. He added, so in that sense, even though they don't get a huge amount of media attention, they certainly get an immense amount of public goodwill for their work.